You hurt yourself. <laughs> sounds like nonsense. Sounds like tomfoolery. It actually sounds like bullshit. Nonsense sounds like? Sounds like happy hour. It sounds like uh, we're drinking. Sounds like something we're going to regret really soon. I'm not going to drink today. Regretting. Sounds like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know what it sounds like me? It sounds like Daroken. What's up, everybody? Sounds like nonsense podcast. I'm Jeb, your host over here on the number twos. We got Mr. Will Ridge. Hello, everybody. On the couch is my beautiful wife, Courtney. Yeah. Out here in Rally, also beautiful. I keep saying that every week, but it's beautiful human being, Mr. Jeff. Don't shy away from it. And then we have our fun, super fun buddy guest, Todd, is in the house. Yay! Welcome back, Todd. Todd. And welcome, everybody, to our happy hour. Uh, this is the second happy hour that we're doing, but it's the first one where we're doing a listening party, too. So the idea is we're going to listen to some music. We're going to have some drinks. We're going to talk about it, have some fun. Um, and hopefully we can do this every now and again. We've had... We, we just had our 10th show, so that means we've had 30 bands already. Already? That's 30 crazy. Bands. Yeah, yeah. Super fucking rad, dude. Well, that's amazing. I'm glad so I'm... we're going to try to get to 10. Maybe we get drunk before we get to 10, but we're going to try to do um, as many bands as we can. Oh, 10 good. episodes, and we're already giving you a greatest hits. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's an anniversary. That first band that you guys just heard, those are our buddies, DeRokin. Uh, the song was called Jim Cantor. Yeah. Do you guys know who Jim Cantor is? Cantore? Cantor? Kentori? I don't know. No, Anybody. I don't. I don't actually know. golfer? Give me a fuck. It, that's close. It's a Florida thing, but... Must Courtney, be. He's the guy from the Weather Channel that shows up right before a hurricane happens. Oh, I don't <laughs> So if Jim Cantor that. shows up, get the fuck out. Like, <laughs> if he shows up, yeah. run for the fucking hills. <laughs> There's God. real news. Yeah, dude. That's fucking Wait, awesome. Yeah? I don't remember that guy. Fucking Google it, motherfucker. No, I know, but was he there when we Take were notes. living there? Mm, I no. don't know, but like... I st- no, I believe it was not. I don't know. I, I would say Google it. Okay. All right, you now you're up. It's your, it's your segment now. Say stuff. So. What? No, I have no segment. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> so at the beginning of this, uh, Courtney tried to open a, a beer can to show you guys <laughs> oh. that we were drinking. How did that feel? Uh, that hurt. But also, we did one take where it was perfect. And then, yeah, we had to do it again. And no. It wasn't even a beer can. It was one of those fancy mixed drinks. Uh-huh. It's the second one was better. Vodka. And soda with black cherry. In a can. In a can. High noon. That's oh, right. Yeah. America. Hashtag And the not can an is ad. inside of a bag. That's right. 
Well, y- it should be. You know what else we talked about uh, this week is uh, bagged uh, boiled eggs. Yeah. Go and, on. And do you eat them? Because uh, I love eggs. We've talked about this. We've talked about this egg subject before. Yeah, but exactly. um, You know my stance. Yeah, I'm not eating a fucking boiled egg in a bag. I don't think. Wait, wait, wait. I don't wait, know wait, why wait. not. I don't get. What, why are you eating a bag of. of, of <laughs> people sell them and people eat them. Well, in bags. I would. Yeah. All day. They also Todd, come in you jars. Would? Fuck yeah. Like in the convenience stores, you can get them in jars. Well, to be fair, what did I see you eat raw one day? It grossed me out. And you're like, it's fully cooked. What? It was something like you're supposed to cook it and you're like, nah. It's pork chop. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, pork chop can be so. My meat needs to be cooked for sure. No, dude, it's like out of a can or something. You're spam. Like, yes. Oh, spam. It's got to be spam. No, or dude. Vienna sausages. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Ugh. All day long. Oh, no. It was hot dogs. Hot dogs. It yeah. was just a regular. Oh, and he's like, yeah. So say yeah. it. Was it cold? A cold right out. We were in the grocery oh, store. We got into the car. He pulled out like an Oscar <laughs> Mayer. I'm going to. Just popped it right in. I'm going to yeah, give a you. A little meal. Dude, a, it's a so good for you. Well, wait a moment. That is white trash. I did just that as a kid. Just enough to get you home. Yeah. So I grew up. <laughs> you don't have to cook hot dogs. Wait, you cooked. eat raw hot dogs too? No, I don't. No, you fucking when don't. I was a no kid, one does. I'm googling it. I would absolutely you can eat them. Have you ever had well, a I hot dog can. with yep. the cheese in the middle, like artificial cheese yes. in the middle? I have a story and, about that. And if you poke it with the poker on the barbecue, it squirts you in the eye. Well, I guess <laughs> <Ooh>. that does. <laughs> I have a story facial. about that from yesterday. Ooh. So um, we got lazy me. and did an Instacart. Uh, we paid someone twenty dollars to go grocery shopping for us. What? <laughs> No, and I wasn't even doing anything. I could have gone. But anyway, COVID. <laughs> COVID, though. Seriously, it was COVID. Um, oh, so <laughs> um, I, I ordered a cheddar bratwurst oh, thing, like yeah. cheddar-filled bratwurst. It, it was some special they were running. Uh, homeboy showed up with the Oscar Mayer cheese dog, the trailer dog. Okay, oh. so here's the thing about Instacart. Which it's I like, but that's not what I wanted. So I'm not above it. The thing that you need to know is if you do use Instacart, uh, you need to pay them like the tip is their only wage that they make. So you need to pay them as if you were paying a personal assistant. That's the first thing. The second thing is that um, uh, you can like if they're shopping while you have the app, sometimes it gets behind and they shop so fast that you can't like they'll say, is it OK if I replace it with this? So he shopped so lightning fast. Homie blew it on a bunch of little things. A little, uh, but it's things that are passable. Like yeah. We, we ordered macaroni noodles. Came back with shells. Fine. I yeah, don't care. I prefer fuck. shells. Nah, well, fuck to get that. Get some more chicken soup. How old? No. Was, how old was this? We're good person? on chicken soup. He's no one's adult. eating it. This <laughs> is an adult doing. You should this. learn how to grocery shop. I mean, I you know I don't know. We we gave them five stars. Whatever. We just gave one thumbs down on the the hot dog. Hot dog just for to a brat is for totally him. different. Yeah. Did you a favor? Yeah. yeah, but anyways, okay. So not favor. He was myth pre- number seven: oh, hot shit. dogs <laughs> are pre-cooked, so it's actually okay to eat them raw. Fact: Actually, it's important to always reheat hot dogs until they're steaming hot. Some ready-to-eat foods, such as hot dogs, can become contaminated with listeria yes. or listeria. Yeah. There's that another that word I'm not going to pronounce. After listeria mono blah, 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 after they have been processed and packaged at the plant. So cook your hot dogs, people. Can you uh, give me one favor? Wait, 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 wait. wait one on favor. Yeah, yeah, what Can it? you please look up now since you're talking about hot dogs and find out if it's an actual sandwich? Oh. It is. People don't fucking it's a know. Sandwich. It's a total sandwich. Thank you, my friend. No. A hot dog is a sandwich. Yeah. Thank you, my I think friend. that we've Absolutely. decided that it is, but I still don't. I, I can't put that Absolutely. in the classification. There's a chart. You can is never eat too many a hot dog dogs. sandwich chart. Oh, Let's Jesus. Let's check that. You gotta believe, man. A bunch of sandwich. fucking idiots. A hot dog is a, a taco. Corn dog might not be <laughs> yeah. a sandwich. It's more of a, a taco, taco than a sandwich. Okay, settle down. That's Boom. the Washington Post. Let's see what they say. Yeah, they don't know shit. Is it because it does bread make it the sandwich? I don't know, man. I think it's meat inside of bread. This makes... is one of the things where it's just people's opinion. Corn dog gets confusing. <sighs> I don't know. Like this bread, what's wrapped. the, the fine no line on bread? Like you got the sourdough bowl for clam yeah. chowder. That's still For bread, you people though. who want hot dog as a uh, sandwich, you take the corn dog too. It's rip the, rip the hot dog bun in half, and then it's a sandwich. Move that thing a little closer to your face, right there. I want to scream. Don't, don't. Just move it closer. Yeah. So it, I mean, me? the internet search is just basically like some people are saying yes, some people are saying no, and some people are saying it's time to stop debating about whether a hot dog is a sandwich or so, eating too many hot dogs. No, well, that's that, not a debate. That debate has been settled. That's right. Still up open. <laughs> oh my God! You know what? We got a lot of music to play, so I'm gonna get right right back hey, into Durocken, it. Hey, yeah. you guys can go eat 
eat rotten fruit from a shitty tree in my book. Oh, <laughs> fuck you guys. Wow. This is Bombs Blast coming in hot. Rattlesnake. <laughs> Bomb's Blast song was called Rattlesnake. That was on an album called A Tribute to Rancid, Hooligans United. Oh, uh, that's rad. That yeah, dude. Good. I like yeah. that. Rattlesnake. Lincoln, Nebraska's own. That's right. Hosting Monsters um, referred those guys to us. And Hosting Monsters has referred so many bands to us from Nebraska. Nebraska's a hot spot for punk, everybody yeah, out there. You wouldn't think, but we have had some fucking killer bands coming out of there. Is there an actual... I don't think. I know. Yeah. What about a Pacific uh, uh, City? A, a specific city? Yeah. I don't really know, man. Like it's, It seems like it's all over the place yeah. right now. But what is really cool is that Hosting Monsters is actually going to check in with us. That's, That's awesome. awesome. They're having a practice to tonight, and um, they're going to come and talk to us for about 10 minutes. Uh, we'll play another new song of theirs and um, get another it's pick. It's a world premiere. A world <laughs> No, it's not, dude. I, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like <laughs> Raleigh. a song that we haven't played yet. So uh, we have a premiere in my house. One thing that we didn't do is pick songs really ahead of time. I had a couple picked out, but I thought it'd be fun if we all pick songs together um, throughout this whole thing. So I don't know if you guys just want to go by song names or whatever, but we can we can do it however you want. Okay. Okay. Well, what do you mean? Like pick out a... Uh... So next up, I think we play DTs. Okay, yeah. What DT song are we playing? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I posted the video of Shake It Up, I think, the one with the cheerleader. So, oh, Shake So, yeah. not, not that one because people may have already heard it, or maybe that one because maybe they didn't click the link. Okay. Well, if I can figure it out. Todd, what song? I'm just kidding. From the GTs? Yeah. I, 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 I got no homework. So. I, I know, dude. I'm just fucking with you guys. I'm going to follow with uh, uh, Courtney. I say, uh, if people didn't see the link, why don't we do that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shake. That mm -hmm. was a great song. Mm -hmm. So, and Done. then we, we already talked about it last week. Like I, I had played um, our talking over his song last time. Um, so we're going to do one. We're going to do that again this week. Right? I, I'm thinking like maybe I just hum along. No. Yeah. <laughs> Whistle. No. Shake that Poetry. body with me. Kind of a good whistler. Oh, I can I whistle my fucking ass off, I am a terrible off, whistler. Really? Yeah, I can't. Can you just give it just a little bit? Mm -mm. No, she does a second whistle. Oh. Can, oh who, my God! You were serious. Who, who can do uh, Andy Griffith? Oh, that's such. A I good do one. this every time in my bathroom. Okay. Right. While taking a shower. Okay. <laughs> you want to get better? I can do it better. Okay, go. You got the goods. Well, no, I want to see if Jeff can do it. That's not my thing. You can't whistle. <laughs> I whistle loud. Well, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Me too. I'm a... You got it. Oh. oh, you're a cat call whistler. So yeah. can you do the one oh, yeah. with the fingers in your mouth? Oh, yeah. oh. oh, that was a, with his back turned. Yeah. What about you, yeah, Todd? Can you do some Andy Griffith whistle? Uh, probably, yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> it's just riveting. <laughs> All right. All right, I, I, 
people are whistling along right now trying yeah. to figure oh, out man. if they're good at we it. We should start a whistle band. Wow. Yeah. One thing I've always whistle thought is Whistle contest. <laughs> it, um, uh, Mad Caddies is a local band here, um, but I've seen, I, I've known of them way before I lived here. Um, they have a song where Chuck the singer, he whistles. Oh. He's a good whistler. Um and people mosh to it every it time. Is funny. It's awesome. As soon as the whistle starts, it, it like energizes people. People are like, fuck yeah, he's whistling. It is really funny. <laughs> like, just punch, I want to punch my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking amazing. People want to punch us for whistling right now. <laughs> oh, I know. No, man. Like, send in your whistle tracks if you think oh. you can whistle better. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I a whistle contest. You. I can, Doors wide open. I can whistle like a motherfucker, dude. You guys can't whistle better than But me. you'd have to mm. send a video like, because our, accepted. the phone. I can do that Guns N' Roses song. Almost oh, the whole okay. thing. Uh, what is it? The phone November rain? recording, no. it um, doesn't do justice no, to things, so you'd have to send Live a video. Live and Let Die, their cover of it? No, no. It's, mm. um... Uh, Sweet Child of Mine. No, Patience. You're terrible. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> all I need is a little, little patience. patience. Let me think, I, yeah, I, stick to the whistling. No, yeah. dude, no, I should. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, uh, well, should we play another song? Yes, Did you guys please. pick what DT song? It's going to be. I want the pillow fight. You want the pillow fight song? Oh, well, yeah. I don't think they have one of those. That's Dirty Mattress, but the shake is the one that is um, uh, on uh, video, online. Okay. Just play it. Okay. <laughs> Just wait for you to say play. So. Okay, here we go.
was DTs with Shake. I like that one. And we, in between, we were that trying to take. Loud. I was trying to force uh, Todd to take some shots of that beautiful rum that mm. we got from Galita. No dice. I heard the podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> he was hip to it. I was giving Will the. I handed it to Will, and he's he's nope, nope, nope. And I just gave the wink. No. Nope. Todd wasn't falling for it. We'll that was try. a good. That was a good song, by the way. I enjoyed that. Yeah, dude. Fucking Wilson. He was a great interview. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. I had originally asked him to be here today, and then blew it because I thought we have another guest. Whatever things move around, it's yeah. it's okay. Next time, dude. Next time for sure. He yeah. loves some music, dude. Yeah. So it's always fun to have him. And he's around. got really good stories, and he's just a cool person to hang out with. Yeah. Fucking rad, dude. Yeah, that was a good song, and I, I and he it. saw a ghost. Yes, mm-hmm. he did, and that's. Anybody that sees a ghost, got to keep him around. Okay, so it's happy hour. I'm ready for my first shot. Who's oh, coming with me? Geez. Shot of? It's a Buffalo Trace. I thought you out meant of like the freezer. happy hour, like we're all going to be happy. <laughs> I know. I didn't know we were going to I'm going to have like, one, and I'm going to pass it to Courtney. I know she likes it. Uh, I'm not going to do that. If Courtney does one, I will do one. I'm not. I'm out. I don't want I'm to I'm tapping do out this. for him to even call in. I don't oh, want to She's do doing this. it. She's oh, doing yeah, it. Oh, yeah. There she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. I don't want to. Sport knee. Sport knee. That's what she does. Uh, nope, nope. Oh, I took too much. <sighs> oh, it's delicious. Todd. I just took a teeny tiny little bit. No, have some. No it's way. delicious. It actually it's, smells good. What no, about you, Jeff? Are you really sipping good. out there or no? I'm doing I'm Yeah, I am. Oh, Woo. Jeff. Oh. What are you sipping on? Oh, Courtney. I've got a That's cigar. Good. Oh, you brought a cigar for today? I have a cigar in my purse. <laughs> Break it out, dude. Now's the time. Oh, you know what? I have a cigar in my car. Dude, All right, you let's guys do go this. get it. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what, let's go song. get down. Yeah, let's do it after that. Um, my cigar's pretty gnarly stench, though. What do you got? One. What kind of cigars? A Rocky Patel. I don't know. Oh, yeah. very nice. Oh, Jeff knows. I know. You do. You guys are both into cigars. Is that something that's happening right now? I think so. Um, One of the many I, I'm things. good on that. You can just put it down. That, it's safe. that doesn't mean I'm not taking the bottle from you. Just set it down. Just set it. <laughs> set it you have to uh, stop aiming at me. It's fine. It can be uncorked for a minute. Okay, All right. I have a question. Okay. Okay. Have you have a cork. cork. Just I have a cork. question for you guys while you're doing this thing. <laughs> have you ever it. went up to somebody? <laughs> what? Okay. okay. Have you ever went up to somebody and and said, "Hey, nice to meet you," and they're like. Oh, this isn't the first time that I've met you. I actually know you. Does oh, that ever happen? Often. Okay, yeah, that happened to me. I think it's my and love. And I felt like a, I felt really bad. Um, so it was somebody that we went to high school with, and it was okay. So for me, I always like don't assume that people know me because I'm one of those people. I have a face that you can forget. Like I just blend in with everybody. I I am a wallflower. I try to stick to the periphery so like I, I just assumed like oh he doesn't remember me from high school nice to meet you kind of thing and then he was like oh no uh i've met you and um i'm so sorry my face is not recognizable i was like oh, no yeah, don't dude, turn that brutal. around on me but he was really awesome his wife was awesome yeah no um but it was i've known this guy from elementary school yeah uh we weren't super close ever but we've always been friendly and buddies all, you know all the way through until we quit high school and then uh, just Facebook kind of brought us together, yeah. I don't know, a decade ago or something. So we just keep up then. And he was like, hey, I'm rolling through town. What's up? It was super and, cool. Yeah. And then when I saw the yearbook picture, like he's like, okay, here's my yearbook picture. Well, I actually, remember actually, him. hold on. But what he said was when he was leaving, like, hey, hey you know, it's good to see you guys. Maybe next time you'll remember me now. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> and then yeah. I had to break out the yearbook. Oh, oh shit. It was so bad. <laughs> That That's, was over like ten years. Uh, There's like, people in my high school no, I completely forgot. We're, okay, well, yeah, we're twenty. Like he, he went. He, he, he was a good kid. Like, you know, he. So went how to, do you expect to be remembered that? Also, like that? I asked. I was like, "Did we have any classes together?" And he's like, "No, I don't think so." So right. it wasn't like. But I, he's like, he, "You're the quiet one." Right. I, so I've had two people. Um, one of buddy Alex, <laughs> I and I hired him. <laughs> but, but I didn't remember that I had already interviewed him like uh, a oh. year before. Oh. <laughs> Did he come in disguise? But no, no, no. I just, I just interview a lot of people. Uh, and he actually is actually pretty memorable. Really long hair. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was surprised when he said, yeah, well, we've met. Deep before. blue eyes. <laughs> well, hey, I, okay. Uh, there's a couple people that I, I, that work, I work with that uh, they interviewed twice. And some of them I remembered and some of them I didn't. You don't have time. a system to track that? I have no. a system to track that. <laughs> it's like, oh no, this person interviewed before, and 
either they're a good fit for a different position, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, but yeah, it was really embarrassing. And I felt, but more than being embarrassing, I hate making people feel bad. Like I hate making people feel bad. So you didn't feel bad at all. It was so great catching up with like, it was awesome. Some people in your life, you just slide in and out of with ease. Like I haven't seen this guy for 20 plus years. It was so cool. We saw each other within five minutes. It was like, yeah, we're friends. Like you, you just know some people are just there. I, we don't have to be the best of friends, but we had a great time. And yeah, I've never done that, but I have Hi. done. Congratulations! How pregnant are you? Oh, whoa! That's or, yeah, I've done that once <laughs> in my life, and then you obviously know the outcome. It, it's yeah. Oh no! It's just I'm was hungry or something i don't know you know it was never that's the voice of the pregnant lady yeah i was eating cookies (laughs) yeah exactly so and i go like and you know how miserable that is that is like yeah no that's there's no comeback from that there isn't and you just you don't even say anything you just walk away so it was terrible no oh well shit we are gonna have hosting monsters on and just a hot second i think that we needed to play another fucking song yeah, real quick Let's yeah, get the you guys go get your we cigars good way though you can smoke this place out right now um what i want to do is i want to change it up a little bit and we're going to go out to hawaii and oh. we're going to hit up our buddy oh. bison go, and Jimmy, we're going to bang yes. that skillet buddy oh, yeah. Go Jimmy Go 
Bang the Skillet. I fucking love that song. That was off of Soul Arrival. I would suggest checking out every album, but Soul Arrival is one of my favorites. It's uh, something I came into a little bit later in my Go Jimmy Go listening thing. Oh, these guys are going big on their cigars right now. Courtney and Jeff. Uh, oh, she just kissed it. I don't know why you kissed it. You were trying to trying to whatever. <laughs> what kind of cigar, Courtney? <laughs> what kind of cigar, Court? She's not at her microphone. I'll relay. Oh, she's digging in the trash, and Will okay, is. A, okay. A Carrillo. <clears throat> Where'd you get that cigar? Uh, in my Christmas stocking. In your Christmas stocking. Oh, oh, oh very fresh. In Santa. So, so who got that for you? Uh, Jeb got it for me in oh, my Christmas stocking. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, it was one of those. I don't even need praise for it, but thank you. Yes, you for do mentioning need praise it. for it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> because I want it. Give it to me now. It's a lie. Your praise time was ended uh, a yeah. couple months ago. <laughs> you uh, know what? Well, I kept this thing in my purse. I think I took it on, I mean, it had to be before COVID, like on a trip that we were going on. Mm, oh, to Mammoth. You just got the lighter. I have it. Okay. To Mammoth, I took it, and then I ended up not using it because the condo. Well, spark Might it up real quick. a little Let, dry. Let's hear. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, oh. Oh, she had gum in her mouth right until this exact moment. That's yeah. going to be a tasty treat. D- Jeff, are you matching cigars out there? No, but uh, when I used to live out there, my, I mentioned my buddy owned the cigar shop. Yeah. Uh, we would go to the festival up at, uh, what is it, Ellis Park? Yeah, no. that's a park. Uh, big cigar and beer. It was at mainly just a beer festival. And he would go there, and my role was to take his cigars and get as much free beer and food in exchange. Okay. The first year, I just crushed it. Because I'm, I'm negotiating with something that isn't mine, and he doesn't care. He's like, just get us deals, man. There you go. I had Sorry. mugs of beer. Nice. Walking through the crowd, chugging off. People said, oh, yeah, here, I'll pour you some. Oh, oh, <laughs> I missed that. That's awesome. It, it, you know, I well, me and Todd, we both smoked for cigarettes for a very, very long time. And then, um, I don't know, I was long around time. like 22 or 23, and I decided, hey, I can just smoke Black and Milds because I would smoke those two with my Marble Reds, my pack a day. When I was drinking, I would get a Black and Mild, smell delicious, taste mm, delicious. Mix. Oh, it's right there on the package. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Holy shit. So I was like, oh, I'll just smoke one of these a day. I think I need the lighter again. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> so you um, got to blow in and out. I, I was doing that like a chimney. Like a chimney. Like a chimney. So um, one a day to kind of make up for my cigarettes, turn into like a pack a day. Mm-hmm. And then you have two packs a day when you're drinking and you wake up green. I'm like, Those this things is are gnarly. way bad for you. smells gnarly, doesn't it? And I was like. I smoked them for years. Jeff I was got probably me. about a Jeff year. Jeff got me to quit cigarettes. We did it at the same time. <laughs> we're like, nice. let's quit cigarettes. And we're like, hey, the Black and Miles are awesome. Let's smoke these like crazy. Right. Well, I did it for about a year and a half. Yep. And, and you did it for like four, four years. years. You yeah. guys got Fuck. You should be- I had a problem breathing because I would light one up and I would not set it down until I smoked that whole thing. And that takes hours. Yeah. yeah dude. Yeah. I would smoke the shit out of this. You I guys should be smell watching, one now. You should be watching Courtney right now. <laughs> she is having a I'm time. Having a time. <laughs> She, you can see her face change. She's spitting tobacco out. I now she's spitting all over the ground. She is. She's having the time of her life right now. I mean, I thought grainy. that thing would be so dry it would just go poof. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> I don't know. This is. Weird. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, now I don't smoke at all. Every now and again, Courtney is the only one really that Dip smokes. Dip it in a little rum. I'm on oh, your, we got some rum. Oh, I'm I on your. That. Yeah, Courtney, there's some artisanal rum. Oh my gosh. Dip it in that. That'll <laughs> be fucking great. I'm on your four, no cigarettes <clears throat> or black and mild. That's awesome. That's awesome, that's man. That's, that's so good awesome. news. I'm glad I, to hear that. I'm. Um, How do you like the smoke of cigar in your face, buddy? I, I, I don't I care. I don't mind any of it. I could sit in a car like with somebody cigarette. smoking a cigarette. And it I don't like bother that, me. man. I always said I was going to be the guy who would not care. I do care. You're not smoking anything in my fucking car. No. Weed, yeah. yeah, but not anything else. Yeah, yeah. Out. I draw the line at <laughs> awesomeness. Weed smell goes away real quick. Everyone knows that. So, yeah. uh, hot cigar smell. God, this is a good cigar, by the way. Man, it does smell really good in here. <laughs> hey, in just a few minutes, we get our homies hosting monsters coming on. So we want to play one of their songs that we did not play the last time. So let's get our screams on mute.
Hey, Jeff. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How are you doing out there? Ooh, hey, hey, hey. these guys. You got a hand Hey, it. hosty monsters in the house. All right. Lincoln, Hello, Nebraska guys. zone. Dude, it looks nice out there. You guys are having good weather. I know. It's green. Oh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, humid, but whatever. Yeah. Beer weather. Midwest summer is always humid as shit. Yeah. It's yeah. gross. Means we can drink more beer though, because we sweat out all the body weight. That's right. Yep. <laughs> you guys are jamming right now. That's science. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just we're practicing up our stuff so that we can start writing some new material here, and then. Well, you got to do up. it when you you got to get drunk or at least buzz to do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're all drinking well, up here can... too, having a good old time. Yeah, hey, let's have a cheers, you guys. Yeah. We're all drinking at the happy hour. Cheers. Happy cheers. hour. For us. Yeah, cheers. Quick, uh, quick, quick selfless quick. plug. I brought a uh, dang and dope IPA from a local brewery called Zipline. So, nice. All right. Zipline Ooh. Brewery, Ooh. shout out to, to Lincoln, so Nebraska. Good. Yeah, hey, Heck if you yeah. guys go to zipline.com, put in uh, backslash sounds like nonsense, nothing will happen. Get nothing. Hooray. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, it's so glad to see you guys. You guys have been. Um, the biggest contributor of bands. Yeah, thank you guys for, very much. for all Amazing. the support. Thank oh hell you. yeah, thank it, you. And not only that, like who fucking knew Nebraska was so fucking hot with punk rock? Like <laughs> out here in California, you think that like you, I, I don't know, you feel a little stuck up. Like maybe you, you know we got the thing cornered, but holy shit, Nebraska's holding it down. Absolutely. And you said leaking. I mean, what else is there to do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. I kind of look at, like, that old, like, 90s Seattle, 80s, 90s Seattle thing where, like, nothing's going on out there, so they made their own awesome mm -hmm. uh, scene. So yeah. everyone was depressed and sad, and grunge happened. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm so glad long. you guys are at least playing music because, I mean, this generation of kids probably don't even pick up a guitar anymore. They just play games, you know what I mean? Or does that make sense, or does that not make sense? I didn't no, fly. it actually <laughs> does, yeah. I, <laughs> that, that didn't fly. I, I, they play guitar on iPad. Uh, I mean, let them I, talk. I game instead of looking for a girlfriend because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's the only non-married member of the band. Oh, okay, uh, all right. Uh, well, dude. shameless plug. All what what's this. your what are you looking for in a woman? Ooh. There's a uh, there's a whole audience out here for you. Oh man, I don't know. I believe uh, a pulse is the first thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Starts there. All right. Two legs. <laughs> Smells good. It's pretty, etc. Yeah. yeah. Jeff. I mean, I, uh, uh, Jeff, did you? This, have, I think at this age, oh, my parents just want grandkids. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that happens, dude. Well, we, we, yeah. we we've got a kid, but like he's fucking almost grown now. We have, he's almost done fed up. So yeah. <laughs> he's out of here, and so, then we get to do what we want to do. Question for okay. you guys. Uh, Absolutely. You, you've sent us a bunch of bands. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Have you played with all of those bands? Uh, I'd say about 80% of them we have. Right. Nice. The rest we either know just because we're friends or friends of friends or just we see them in the scene. It's a big thing to all four of us is to really just help grow our, our community, our scene. Like we're doing things to help That's awesome. the community of the city That's we Jeb. live in. Nice. That's well, Jeb. Uh, He's that guy too. Nice. I try. Oh yeah. Yeah. I try, dude. We all. I think there, there's a there's a kind of group in every community that does that, right? We what we wanna have? we wanna see that as much as we can. I mean, we're always plugging our friends' bands, our yeah. own Facebook and socials and stuff, mm -hmm. because they I deserve think it. One thing that's helped is AJ, Travis, and I. We were all in. Uh, between one and three local bands back when we were like in college growing up till now. Mm -hmm. And now that we're all like, you know, 28 to 32, we kind of know a little more of the ins and outs, you know, how to, how to book, how to make connections, right. how to talk to people, you know, how to write better. And so now it's more like uh, we've gotten all the learning curve out of the way and now we just get to kind of write and, and pump stuff out. And we're starting to finally see, you know, like being able to open for black flag and getting a wow. place so like so nice. that you want to do. Um, that you want to do when you start a band, you know, you want to be able starting to, to get your groove. Band, your groove. So. Do, do a lot of touring bands come through town there in Nebraska? Like, like Lincoln, I mean, it's kind of a big city, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We get more to Omaha. It's yeah. Omaha's about double the size of Lincoln. Okay. It's about an hour drive from here. So it's not bad. It's not but too bad. The thing is we get a lot of cool arena shows to Lincoln. Like I got to see Iron Maiden and Tool in my hometown. Which wow. is pretty cool. <laughs> you know? nice. uh, so the, the music scene in the last, what, 10 years has really kind of rebounded. It kind of fell off in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And now 
the venue um have be- i have new owners that are hungry and the local talents doing a lot of work and are hungry so it's kind of you know what but it's, it we have covid now what do you think about that considering that you guys are just rocking and rolling and all of a sudden covid comes out and oh, all these small little businesses and everything has just fucked everything what's your yeah, opinion so- what's your opinion of the next time no what's your uh estimated time of when you think you might be out and playing in a live show so so that's hard because like i i was thinking that everything is going to if everyone does what they're supposed to do and everything goes right everyone social distances everyone wears their mask like we'd be up and going in a couple months but obviously that didn't happen i don't know how uh california's governor is kind of handling things for your mayors but it seems pretty our good governor had a, but you know yeah. Oh, so well, our governor. Kind of, I should just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, our governor kind of really doesn't like give a shit about us. And he's like, oh no, man, I just open up, fuck it. Well, that, so, I think they're doing that with the schools everywhere right now. Like California, Florida, they're like, yep, you guys are going back to school in a in a, a month. Yeah. They don't care. That's it's, crazy. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, it's, it's insane. I think my wife is gonna homeschool our kids this year because yeah. she We're just not, doesn't want them to potentially get it. I'm not sending and my she's kid all, back. Huh? I'm not gonna send my kid back. Oh yeah, no, I don't blame you, dude. That's my yeah. wife. The same thing. She says I don't want to send him back. She's like looking at curriculum today. Right. While I'm working down the basement, she's like, "Am I crazy to homeschool him?" Like, no. We're crazy to have three of them. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, let's just do it. Lord. Well, yeah. but okay. So here's the thing. Like, there is a homeschooling community already, and if she gets plugged into that yes. community, there is so many resources. Like when when we had Riley homeschool was my first choice and so i got plugged in and there's so many different curriculums and the biggest oh yeah the biggest thing is like if it doesn't work and you've spent all that money on the curriculum it doesn't matter just ditch it just find yep. the stuff that works for them because you know it's i don't know oh i'm gonna send you resources oh. <laughs> there's there's a reading what AJ, don't don't be the weird like homeschooled people where like you won't let them drink tap water because there's fluoride. <laughs> no, <in> the <laughs> that, uh, so no. There's a whole- like, I for one was homeschooled and I'm fairly normal minus yeah. my mental illnesses. Dude, you're in so- a punk band in Nebraska. You're That's not right. fucking normal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and there's all different you're over kinds. Over thirty, of- oh, oh, dude. No, that as well. no that's genetics. <laughs> there's so many different homeschool communities now. Like we're we're thinking about doing like a hybrid where it's um like a charter school, but it's still like independent study homeschool type. So that's kind of what we're, we're doing. So let me ask when, when it is all over and it's safe for everybody and you can be selling places out again, um, are you going to get out on the road and what, what direction are you going to go? Yeah, we'd love, we'd love to go, uh, start traveling, touring, oh. um, come to we're, California. We're gonna, Oh, that'd be yeah, rad as hell. I have a bunch of family in California, so I would love to go back oh, and hook up with come. them. Where at? Come to Raleigh, North Carolina, get some of that barbecue the on, son. There, I oh, oh yeah. I would love to come to, Cal- to get barbecue out there with you in uh, Carolina. Right. Beer yeah. rad. Yeah, we'll bring you some of uh, our Nebraska craft beer for you. <laughs> yeah, nice. we can do. Uh, yeah. Have you guys ever good heard of a nice – have you ever heard of a really good beer? Um, it's – it comes in a silver case. Have you heard of Coors Light? <laughs> Have you guys- oh, yeah. I picked up some of that. It's a, it's a limited run, right? I picked some up for the 4th of July. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's but a it's, microbrewer, right? It's only good if the mountains are cold. <laughs> Otherwise, it's spoiled. How do you know if they're cold? <laughs> that's what I do. The if the no mountains are blue. <laughs> that's right. That's right. right. All right. I have, I have two more questions for you guys. Um, you, I know that I know at least one of you. I'm not sure which one of you is listening to the podcast. Uh, do you have a paranormal experience? Oh, yeah, I was actually just telling about this morning. Uh, actually, like, right at the beginning of practice. Um, I had some weird... We had some weird stuff with the house I had when I was, like, seven or eight. Like, I never directly saw anything that could be considered a ghost. But, like, no one ever you would <laughs> be in a room, and you'd have, like, that feeling that something else is in a room with you. And, like, oh, you, that's terrible. Yeah. Like, that feeling of, like, shadows moving in a dark room yeah. or, like... I remember one time, the most vivid one I can remember is I was walking in a hallway and in my parents' bedroom was like this thing. I caught out of the corner of my eye for like two seconds. It looked like, you know, Salacious Crumb from Return of the Jedi. Yeah. But like the the size of like a large dog. 
and it scared the <laughs> hell out of me. That's called a shadow. And person. then I never, I never saw it again. Wow. Yeah. Well, homeschooled, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fair. Uh, uh, that's love. Avid imagination. Oh my yeah. God. Right. All right, guys. Um, one more question. You guys have submitted so many bands and stuff. We want one more band and song to play right now, and then we're gonna let you go. I got one quick question. Can we get what? a name check just so we know who we we're speaking yeah. to? Oh, good call. Yeah. So I'm Travis. I'm the uh, lead vocals guitarist. I knew uh, it. Keenan, bassist, backups. Nice. I'm Keith. I play drums. Nice. I'm AJ. I play guitar and do backup vocals. All right. Awesome. Nice. Thanks cool. again, guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good to chat with you Thank guys. you. Let's so, do it again. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Anytime. Guys, you guys got a pick for a band and a song? Uh, band and a song. Um, local or anybody? Someone local. Or, you know, top notch. Yeah, top notch has been top, top they, notch defective. And do the song um, <laughs> Hypocrites. Oh, Hypocrites. I like Rising Moon. Rising of the Moon. Yeah, they just came, they just came out with their new CD, and it's just like, yeah. It's great. Oh, we've yeah. been <laughs> listening to it. So, yeah, it's going to be... The entire album is going to be on my top 100 for Spotify for the year. I know it. Nice. So <laughs> keep wait, promoting other bands and sharing the love, guys. It's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. what oh, that's sure. important. Uh, uh, thank you very much for oh, all. Oh, I do have a question. I have a question right, because you guys, well, yeah. yeah, you were like, oh, one last question. Well, I'll for me, yeah, one Whatever. last. Okay, fine. Okay, so my question is. So what is the first show, show that you ever threw? Because you guys oh. are show throwers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the very first show we did, you mean like the first one we did, right? Yeah, like where you put it together, you got all the bands, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. You hosted so it monsters. Actually, <laughs> it was our very first concert, actually, as a band. Um, so it's this kind of passion project started as something that I uh, that I felt passionate about doing, and I brought the idea to the rest of the guys, and it's become something where it's an annual event we do, but it's a mental health fundraiser we do. Hmm. Um nice. Nice. And all the 100% of the proceeds go to a, an organization here in Lincoln called the Wellbeing Initiative Fantastic. that works with um, mental health, addiction, and uh, poverty. Because if you can treat one of those three issues, you can help treat the other two. Wow. They make like this horrible cycle. Wow. And so it was actually our very first show. We got the idea to book this thing and we got this idea for this event. And we're like, well, we have this batch of songs ready. We just haven't booked a show yet. Let's just do this. And it's turned into an annual event that's like, like it, it got big. <laughs> it got so real big. so it was crazy because AJ like started everything and like I was like okay yeah it's cool it's like it's gonna be like a show thing but like started reaching out with the community and like busting ass and like like businesses wanted to join in and like nice. sponsor and help out and like it's just growing like astronomically year by year it's it's I think sweet we had eight Bird. acts last year is that right? seven eight seven or eight like, yeah yeah no. yeah because. Oh, yeah, I put a thing up on Facebook last year asking, hey, what bands would you guys like to see this year? Because I had done that because last year was the third annual event. The second annual event, I put something up. I got like two bands that were maybe interested, and that's it. I put the thing up for the third band, and within an hour, I had overbooked the event. Wow. And I had to start turning people away. Awesome. And that was, and I was like, hey, guys, who do you want to see play? And then bands were like, we're doing it. I'm like, okay, cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, killer. We're going to like 1300 bucks for like eight local groups, too. Like yeah, we, we, we awesome. Like, we raised a decent amount of money. I think we raised actually it was guys. just about nine hundred dollars we raised. Great. Yeah. Between everything. Oh, okay. And then we got I asked for donations and I got way more money donated to help than I was prepared for. That's great. And a lot of just people reaching out and then actually like I talked with the organization that we the well being initiative we do and we're actually gonna we were supposed to host a summer picnic event also, but that fell through because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. so this but year, we're kind of planning how we're going to do this year's event because we do it in November. It's called the Movember Showcase because it kind of it's open to everybody with mental health issues, but it tailors more towards men, mm -hmm. like in men's mental health issues, because as a man with mental health issues and other men, it's not an area that like a lot of people talk about and are open sure. about. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the societal it's really kind of shunned and so i wanted to do something different about it and so that, that's where this came from so we're looking for how we're going to do this november's i'm looking at maybe just live streaming it instead of having it actually at a venue mm -hmm. because 
venues aren't sure if they're going to be open in November yet. No, so we're playing it by year. Yeah. It's, probably gonna be a, it's probably going to be another year or so until venues are yeah, really absolutely. doing things. So mm-hmm. live well, streaming is definitely what sure. is happening right now. That's awesome. Yeah, but that's, that's great. So cool. Good on you guys, man. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Good that's guys. That's really fucking rad. Right. And the if fact that it's getting more popular. Help, yeah. If you ahead. ever need help handling yeah. money, please feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I, yeah, I can help you. All right. I appreciate that. For a nominal right. fee. For a nominal yeah. fee. Yeah. 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 All right, boys. Well, it was good to see you. Thank we're going to go ahead. Thank you so much. And we're going to do Top Notch Defective, and we're going to play Rising of the Moon, right? Cheers. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. Cheers, Thank boys. You very much. Later. Bye. See you guys. Jesus. Love the podcast. Keep it going. Thank Thanks, you. Dude. Killing it. Later. Cool. Thanks. everybody yeah fucking hosting monsters dude coming in with the power that was was really fun i'm so glad that we finally get to talk to those guys and see their faces yeah see their beautiful faces their young beautiful faces dude and uh doing the shows that benefit people and stuff that's awesome they're on the they're on the right track there's some good boys right there cool dudes cool dudes yeah and they um they just gave us uh top knock (laughs) i (laughs) fucked it up I don't mean to do this to these guys. It's Tapio. top notch defective, which oh, I was God. calling them detective before. It's defective. We get to hear a ska song this time. Nice. Remember, you're like, oh, they were ska, like yeah. when she read the description. But um, there you go. You got one. All right, good. I'm glad. And what'd you think? I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, dude, they fucking kill it. Jeff, what do you think, man? You you were chiming Lincoln, in. Lincoln, Nebraska, there. coming in hard. Yeah, they were. They're a fun group of guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, Super promoters, such a you know, just just a cool group of guys. I'd love to right. interview them again, talk with them. It's yeah. for the cause. I love it. But yeah, and their band is fucking awesome too. So we, I mean, that was the second song that we played um, by them, and man, they fucking kill it. So hopefully they do come to California. And boys, if you're listening, which I know you are, uh, you can stay at Jeb's house. Hit a motherfucker <laughs> up. You can stay at Will's house. We'll I have take, a trailer. Well, no, but you we can really stay at my do. house, and we can go out on Will's boat. That's, That's right. the company. We there really we do have a yeah. guest room. So we do. It's very small, but you guys, whatever. You, you, guys, could, you could fit. Maybe yeah. I don't think so, but no, yeah. But actually, fun. I don't think so. But we could make room. So something that happened this week is I got my tattoo. Hey, yeah. I know. You're gonna talk about that on the podcast. I'm gonna talk about it on the other podcast too. But like, this is our happy hour podcast. But um, yeah, I got it done. I have to talk about it. Beautiful it's, tattoo. It's Beautiful. Yeah. Bigfoot, lots, dolphin, lots rainbow, purple clouds. What's not to like? Well, can you? How about you explain it together? Now you describe it. You want it, me to model it while you just it? It is a Here beautiful Sasquatch <laughs> on top of a dolphin jumping over a rainbow with to, with the Sasquatch hat 
flying off and him cowboy raising hat. his hat. A cowboy hat. And then there's some other birds in the background. And it's amazing colors. It's beautiful. It looks like it was painful, but it is absolutely striking, and I commend you. Oh, that would give it all up to Juan at Golden Eagle. He's the one that pulled it all together. I was so worried. He gave me no sketch. He's like, no, I'm just going to sketch it on you. And I'm like, I don't think it, you know, we've talked about this on the podcast. I don't think I can do that. Um, but he did it and I didn't change a thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. He, How he, long did it take? I was in there for about four hours. Straight, um, okay. straight, right? And, and he th- did complete the whole tattoo in four hours. He did it like from his brain onto my leg in four hours. Uh, there were some breaks in there. He had to sketch it in there and stuff. So it wasn't full tattooing the whole time. Maybe just a little less than three and a half hours, three and a half hours, something like that of actual needle work. I don't know. When did you start crying? I did not cry. Oh, yes, you did. No, I I can already tell. In, inside, <laughs> I was done. I was like right at that fucking... <laughs> I was fucking, crushed. I was, I was fucking like... I was... <laughs> when I felt him wipe my leg, like each color that he would do, he'd wipe it and then start another color. I was like, oh, yeah. if that's not the last color, I'm fucking out. And he wiped it, and I was just turning it over. He's like, that's it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank wow. you. What part, your, what part of it was the most uh, painful? The, the red on the rainbow kind of looks like it hurts. It looks that, like blood. Yeah, the red, the red sucked. But um, Where I is it at? It's on my shin and on my ankle. Okay. And, that's like um, the eyes of my well, Sasquatch are red. He, he has a deep hand. Like, he digs. I can tell that he, he's a, he the digs. The part on the shin was not my favorite. But what hurt the worst, which is really weird, it was on my that's ankle. That's for ankle because I, that's where the I, I think that's where just the most color is i got the rainbow and the waves yeah. and the whole thing going down there so he just kept revisiting and i was like if he hits that again i might pass out <laughs> may, may i ask your wife of 22 years what yeah. she thinks of it it's look at right. it it's all right <laughs> i love it i yeah. i love how much he loves it oh what did you say to me that's awesome I said that is very colorful for a man who wears black band t-shirts and khaki pants all the time. <laughs> yeah. And what am I wearing right Brand now? <laughs> black t-shirt, band t-shirt, <laughs> black good shoes. ridden shirt. Yeah. But that's why I need color in my life. You do need color in your life. Uh, um, and kisses and it, hugs. It, and it. Uh, go ahead, Jeff. Sorry. Did he encapture your? Vi- did he get the vision you were going for? You know what? He did better than I thought. Yeah. Like nice. I mean, really, truly, like I, I was. I, I don't. I'm not an artist. I, I don't. I can't see the thing in my head. I just had this idea. He did it way, way better than I had in my mind. Go, yeah. Well, I was just gonna say, how about a giant petificus on your back? A, I was a, a skeleton. A petificus on my back. What is a petificus? A giant petificus. I don't want to put a up, on my back. Anyways, I just want to let you know that you have a fantastic <laughs> tattoo, and it's wonderful colors, and the guy did a great job. And you know what? Courtney's right. It's silly. It makes you happy. It makes us happy. Yeah. And it looks good. He, he, yeah, knocked it out of the park. I'm, I'm super glad that I don't have to go back in and have it colored in later, because <laughs> I don't want to get stabbed again for a while. No. But there goes your leg modeling days. <laughs> what, what do you mean? There goes my, this shit. I'm going to put this in a magazine, son. All right. This is beautiful. I have some beautiful fucking legs. Oh. You know what else is beautiful? The March of Descent. If I hit the switch. Nice.
one? That was rad. So that was Hit the Switch. What was the name of the song, Jeb? I don't know, man. I gotta cut pie right now. Yeah, he's cutting pie because I refused. I was like, oh. Mm, I just what kind of pie are you cutting? Key lime pie. Ooh. Key lime pie? Yeah. Wow. So this is uh, from a local grocery store that does pies bright. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. What? <laughs> they do. Th- they have all sorts of sweets. Like as soon as you walk in the store, that's the first thing. They have like a little sushi thing on the right hand side. They have like pies and sweets at the very beginning mm-hmm. on the left hand side, and then they have like the hot case. Oh, it's so good. So yeah. So this should all be recorded. What is I the know. occasion of this? Uh, Florida key lime pie. I think that you've never had a key lime this pie. Is, I'm going to bust my cherry. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Will's never had key lime pie. No. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah. No, it, it, this is a good one. This yeah. is a good one. Hold off. Hold I would like no, to be a part of this. Sorry, no, Jeff. Dude. What? How do we teleport food? Well, Jeff. Willy Wonka tried it. Jeff brought this up. Like, uh, he had yeah. never had key lime pie. Are, are we recording? Yeah, we're yeah. recording. Okay. Because this is bullshit. <laughs> Just like in episode, I believe it was episode one where Courtney had a bunch of donuts and uh, it, I got Jack. It, it is very like, one. very much like that. But and you, you had right had key now. Lime. Hold on. Go ahead. No, yeah, yeah, but you, you had brought up that you had never had key lime. Will said the same thing and our local grocery store has a pretty decent one. I have never brought up on any episode that I like watching other people eat <laughs> delicious snacks in front of me. That might be true. You know what? Here's my first bite of key lime pie. All right, let's see it. I'm going to have one, too. I'm halfway done. It's delicious. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty tart. That's good, though. Uh-huh. It's tart lime. and creamy. Sweet and tart. Okay, so there has to be oh. one time, Jeff, mm. where you bring something to the table and we have to watch you eat it. Hmm. Maybe some of that barbecue some ideas. that you had <laughs> that you invited hosting monsters to. Mm. Oh man, this is good key lime pie. I think it should be chicken wings. There's God. those people like on YouTube that are famous just for eating awesome shit in front of people. Yeah, and well, for eating some horrible shit. Yeah, I'm gonna eat an octopus. Yep, 500 million views. Right. Robert Zimmerman, or no? What? Yeah, I don't know. The guy with the weird glasses, he's bald, he eats all kinds of weird shit. Interesting eats or something. Hmm. This is very good. Yeah, you like it? It's very good. Is it, was it worth waiting for? Oh, yeah. Okay. Would you have it again? Mm -hmm. I would have that again. I really like it after like a a steak meal or something really savory, like salty. I don't know. It goes the other way against it. That's refreshing, you know? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna stop eating it so I stop smacking in the goddamn microphone right now. Now I'm hungry yeah, for please dinner. Keep, keep eating it. Yeah, Jeff, what do you think Good about podcast this podcast? And I love watching it. Todd, you've had key lime pie before. How do you think that Rancho compares? It's good, but I'm actually liking it with the vodka soda too. It makes it. <laughs> 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 That's a good pie to drink vodka with. Soda key lime pie. That's a song right there. Mm. Take what it. kind of crust? Oh, That's you know, graham cracker, dude. It's Corn. the right with kind. butter. No, it's it's decent. Okay. If you're going to eat in front of me, I think you should take another shot. What? Oh. It is happy hour. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, fair enough. I'm in. Mm-mm. I'm in. Give me that nasty bottle. Just Ooh. a little plug. Do it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll do the nasty one. Mm. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm all key limed up. Hold on. Merry Christmas. You that was fantastic. That is good. And the cardboard crust was good. The cardboard or the graham crack. The <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, like because it looked like, uh, graham cracker, Polly Walker. I don't want crush. a cracker. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh my god! Oh, I almost <sighs> choked on my cardboard crust. You did. Oh. All right, we got a few more bands for you guys. Uh, I think we throw it back to Florida again. We Let's had Durokin, um, but 430 steps. They have a new album or a new video that I just saw that came out, and I don't know what song it's for because I didn't take my notes, but we're going to go with Serial Killer right now.
Yo, yo, that was 430 Steps Out of Florida. That song was called Serial Killer. Those guys fucking throw down. There is awesome. no fucking yeah. doubt, man. Imagine seeing them live. I have imagined it many times. And if you go on YouTube, they get a bunch of rad videos that pretty much shows just that. They, they fucking hold it down. That is awesome. Yeah, they're glad. having a good time. Fuck yeah, they are, dude. If, when, you're, when you can play like that, you're having a good fucking time. Yeah, absolutely. So how's your wiping mustache? That key lime pie. Wow, mercy! That was good. Key lime pie, ukulele, huh? Right. You, no. <laughs> Although that's from Florida, the pie is from Florida. Uh, yeah, yeah. the keys, Florida keys. They have oh, the special lime. little lime. They don't really do that with that kind of fucking pie. They just squeeze limes in it. I'm sure. Oh, well, that was good. Yeah, um, but uh, so, all right, we we have talked about music documentaries mm-hmm. recently, and. It put me just kind of into a tailspin, so I started going back. <clears throat> and Jeff mentioned the Quiet Riot documentary, and I watched it. It's called Well, Now You're Here. And, yeah, dude, it is Spinal Tap in real life. It's really? so it's crazy. crazy. That poor drummer bastard. From Quiet Riot. From Quiet Riot, yeah. It's 100% worth a watch. Um, he's trying to keep the band going after Kevin dies, the singer. Um, who is a very controversial figure, et cetera. Jeff, you could probably give a better synopsis than I can. Keep going. You're feeling it. (laughs) Roll with it, baby. So then this guy, he dyed his mustache and decided, I can do this band without the singer. Uh, And he can't. So, uh, yeah. (laughs) Is this this Kermon feel the noise? Yes. 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 Bang your head. Uh, And they were really stoked to, like, get on the Bang Your Head Festival, which they had never played. (laughs) <laughs> just like yeah it is what's the singer's name it was kevin something or another but kevin dubro dubro best one of the best last names dubro. of all time dubro. <laughs> but what's the guy with the white curly hair now what in, oh twisted sister oh yeah you yeah, know so he was in there he was in the um, documentary yeah. oh, d God. schneider yeah d, d schneider. schneider he's d in there schneider. a lot right at the end they still they said d schneider still says this band is never going to make it without the singer <laughs> And then right during the like credits or whatever, like you're just giving went, it all away. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean it. He was shitting on it. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. it gives a, a pretty interesting history of the band and how many members they had. In oh it. Like, man, it was a revolving door. Twenty high twenties, hmm. maybe early thirties, and it's a, and it's a a four piece. Uh, multiple people coming in and out of it, and just uh, oh the tragedy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it yeah. is a true, a true dumpster fire. <laughs> it's 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 yes. just that like, is a bad. That's a really <laughs> fucked up critic. I mean, that's that's a good critic. It, it yeah. is that but way that's, though. That's fucking your hose. It, no, it's it's Anvil. It, the story of Anvil was better to me. It's just a little bit. <laughs> that's so fucked up that I said that because it's it sucks more for them. I guess there's yeah. something like it's a little bit more sad. So it's. More interesting. Can to I watch, tell you but, something, Sam? Yeah. I don't know the band Rat. Yeah. Until they got onto the Geico commercial, because I didn't know it was a real band. Mm. But what was really sad is they were really into it. Oh. Because yeah. they knew they were on a commercial in TV. But I mean, they were really singing and getting down. I mean, like I believe. Yeah. We got another gig, man. Yeah. Fuck. They were like, <laughs> this how much would they have that? to pay you to get into it? Ooh, good question. My number's pretty low. Mm. To get into a Geico commercial? Yeah. If, if Yeah, if they said, hey, we want you to play some of your, play one of your songs, act like you mean it. 
<laughs> oh, what yeah. is your number? That's a good question. It's a really good yeah, question. That's good. I I would only do to uh, progressive, not Geico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Because they have a Bigfoot commercial, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that commercial is awesome. I just uh, saw it today. Staying on brand. That's good. Yep. <laughs> uh, Anyways, so, we got a character. So, uh, Todd, I asked. I had asked you earlier your favorite documentary, and you said it was Sound City, the yeah. Food Fighter documentary on oh. Um, HBO. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's a good one. Move that mic closer. Like this? Yes. <laughs> yep, that is a good one. That's <laughs> shout out to All right, so moving on. No, it just yeah, it that's might a, get loud. What is that one? Also, um guitarist documentary with uh Jimmy Page, The, the Edge. Edge from U2 and Jack White. Hmm. That's a good one. Nice. And it's not proclaiming that they're the three greatest guitarists. It's they have three distinct unique sounds. Hmm. And it really just explores it. It's just the intro of Jack White will make you a fan. He is just a genius. He is wild. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I, I've seen it, and I hear what you're saying. And yeah, kinda. But no, no, that dude steals a lot of his music. I think. And um, you that, know, uh, also Red Hot Chili Peppers <laughs> has a good one. And I think Jeff is shaking his head at you right now. Jeff is not happy. That, you can have your opinion. Okay, it doesn't have to be right. You can just <laughs> have it though. Yeah, I I think uh, I think. White Stripes fucking blow. Um, the worst drummer of all time. I'm going to put that on record right here, right now. Wow. If you can't move your foot and your hand separately, go fuck yourself if you're a drummer. Wow. And then um, Jack White, wow. yeah, he's overrated. Sound. Jimmy Page, one of my favorites. Uh, he steals his music too. Yeah. But I like it. Okay, it- so we're at the <laughs> point really Courtney. where, like... Happy hours. I don't- Give me another happy- shot and I'll tell you the yeah. truth. Well, why don't you just listen to me? I don't know that anyone can truly come up with a truly unique anything anymore. I mean, there's only so many notes. There's, no, I mean, how there's been musicians since the time began, right? So like, it's it's getting harder to make your sound any different and not take something, even if it's unknowingly. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think that people did it on purpose. I think that Led Zeppelin stole their songs on purpose, and I think that Jack White is an original. And I still think it's a good documentary. Wow. Way to pull it together. I do. I do. I, it's worth a watch. You form your own opinion, but that's mine. I just don't like that guy. But Todd, <laughs> getting back to you. He puts on a hell of a show. Sound City. I would go. You, no, Sound City. Yeah. That's, I mean, how you asked me the other day, and I was like, that took me a second, thought about it, and I was like, oh, yeah. And how I found out about that was I was actually on Hollywood Boulevard one day with Beth and we were just like, why are they closing down the main street? And then we figured out it was for the, they were on Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel that night. And so, <laughs> thanks for it. Mm-hmm. and I was like, man, I got to get into this somehow. And, and I, you know, I saw that it was a Foo Fighter thing and I was like, all right, that's my end, hopefully. And turned out it worked out, got to hang out with those guys. And it was, it was amazing. That's all I'm going to say. But you had <laughs> wow. He just skipped over a whole bunch of details. Yeah. And, well, uh, but so how I did you? I think he just got nervous. It like, happens in the green room. So how did you? Room. How did you? Oh, um, boy. But how did you hear about Sound City? Just from them? They're from, like, oh, we told you. Like, yeah, yeah, from that they were like, oh yeah, it's not the Foo Fighters, but it's this um, documentary about the Neve control board that was in Sound City. Mm-hmm. It was where really cool. All these rad bands were recorded. So what they did is they took and made a an album with all these musicians from like. Uh, like Stevie Nicks and you know God I'm drawing a blank right now but no it, it, it goes deep the, the, the singer list is from extensive. Fear. I, it's I mean, been so long since I've seen it I cannot even say it but like every band that Rick you've ever known ever that's a yeah. classic rock band has Don played Henley. Uh, Tom Petty was the big one yep. and they would go over and over they would never punch anything in they would do it until they got it right this board was brutal it analog was, it's an analog board. it was like the, one of it was two. the shit it's an awesome documentary really really great i don't know what it's like eight or ten parts it's really fucking long but it's worth yeah. a watch very cool it's there's good. one more i want to say and that would be funky monks what Ooh. the fuck is that red hot red hot chili peppers oh, okay. of the making of blood sugar mac fuck and cheese <laughs> blood sugar sex magic magic Okay. And that was pretty good. I got Do you it like Red Hot Chili Peppers? No, I don't, but it was a wonderful documentary. Does anyone in here like Red Hot Chili Peppers? Meh. I do. You do? Uh, sure. It was a great documentary. Yeah. Whether you liked them or not, it was fantastic, and they worked their ass off. And that was a, and it's, that's a fucking great record, too. I, who can sing uh, Under the Bridge the best? Or whistle it? Not me. 
Whistle? Can you do it? Ooh, no, whistle I, contest. No, no, oh, man, no, no, not going no, back no, to no, that again. No, no. All right. Hey, well, we got two well, more. One, uh, one thing uh, about where they, uh, you know, bands going and recording at a, uh, what, Sun Studio? Yep. Uh, now everybody's going to Jack White's place. Ah. In your ah. face. Right? Yeah, but, you know, I don't give a shit about that. You know? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know what to say. Because he uh, got you. He got you. Jesse got me. So we have Do two more. Do you that look on his face? He got well, you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. We got two more songs. Uh, I want to do Lucky Lad Green. Courtney just got their shirt. She's not wearing it right now. Because no one can see it. Well, you, you couldn't know. tell anyways. It's a podcast. That's right. It's fine. So um, She is wearing it. She just put it on. That's cool. <laughs> so I got two songs. You guys can just tell me which one to do by the name, okay? Chase the Snakes or Irish Eyes? Irish, Irish Eyes. Irish Eyes. Oh, unanimous. Chase the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Irish eyes it is. Tastes so bittersweet as you're staring at me. Well, all love seems to fade away. Those Irish eyes on me. Night of the sky so clear, mysterious in all its ways. Just as clear as those Irish eyes staring back at me. Times you were staring at me with bliss and love in your heart, those Irish eyes on me. Troubles on melt away, it feels like a brand new day. Love the look in those Irish eyes staring back at me. Spouse come as you say, when well, you're everyone that was lucky lad green that song was irish eyes off of their new album that was good yeah fuck yeah dude they've uh they've been killing it so uh stoked to play another song by theirs yeah straight out of johnstown that's right oh that's right johnstown. pennsylvania johnstown. Ah, jonestown johnstown yeah well and I, their shirt is rad too i'm so happy i just got it so yeah that's, that's great mm-hmm. I, I just want to say before we wrap this whole thing up, I'm so thankful that you guys came in on a on a Thursday afternoon and drank with us and uh, party with us, especially you, Todd. Although, yeah, thank you, Todd. Absolutely. It was awesome. You got to admit, you gotta, if you're being called back, that means you're pretty goddamn good. Mm-hmm. We like it where you don't have to talk very much, but when we need it or something, we stare at you. And you, you know, <laughs> We, you're I'm, good. You're good, man. You're I was trying back. to focus on the IQs. I was like, oh. back by popular demand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. People wanted it. That's right. We got a lot of letters being like, where's that hunk? I love your three people. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they are. My shout out to them. A <laughs> thruple. I, yeah. I sent two of those letters. <laughs> oh, see? Oh, my God. 
But any, <laughs> anybody else want to say anything else before we go? Like, I know it's happy hour. We're going to be doing a little vacation. So that's why we're doing this. So we can just fill in time. Hopefully we can do this every, you know, few months or whatever. And um, every month, I think we should do one. I think so. Actually, I think you're right. you know, like just like maybe not as many songs, but yeah. yeah. All right. But, uh, no. Well, I just, I'm just very grateful for all the bands that uh, we yes, have submitted. Sure. Amazing music. Come in, and I'm very Great. glad that we are having an opportunity to show other people these wonderful musicians. And I've enjoyed every one of these interviews. I've enjoyed all the music. I'm just happy that we're all here together and actually producing, promoting yes. wonderful uh, music. So with that, I'm very happy to say. I mean, just listen to what we played today is what yeah. I would say. Like, th- that is awesome. Like, yeah. they're these might be bands that people have never heard of. And well, we they, hadn't ever heard of them. Um, many some of them. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. And like, you know, it, it's what's so cool about shows like these. Like just, man, there's so much stuff out there. The radio is lame. You hear the same song for 30 fucking years. It's I can't, really I couldn't hear another fucking chili pepper song in my life. And you know, <laughs> ah, mm. wait, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Watch the documentary. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Very good. I don't know, man. I'm just stoked that we get to do this every week yeah, and have people, submit and so what i'm gonna do now is say please submit your bands absolutely give us your friends bands anyone that you think your might grandma's be bands. cool to talk to you <laughs> and you know what I e- even that. if you aren't in a band you can just call us and talk shit to us talk it's about ghost 1-805-697-7070 is our phone number give us anything anything or if, if you, could- you want to start a band you yeah. want to start a band? Call us. Tell us about it, and we'll ignore it. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit, but um, yeah, also. Your favorite way to cook bacon. Call us in. Yeah. If it's not in a frying pan, go fuck Andrew, yourself. Microwave. Call us. If it's in the microwave or the oven, you're not American, and that's fine, I guess. But Okay, like, you're getting off on a Okay, detour. fine. You... Eat bacon. Aren't you calling somebody? No, I'm waiting on you. You, you wanted to go. No, I didn't. I said you're getting off on a tangent. No, nope. you you're just, up. No, thank you. Oh, you're little. up. <laughs> Marriage. It's not a word. It's a sentence. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. This I see. Good. I made it weird when I didn't talk. That's what you didn't want to happen right there. So No, I was just trying to move you along. Okay. That's fair. I'm just oh. saying, if you don't make bacon in a frying pan. Oh, my God. Oh, I should go wow. back to the that bacon. That shit is not right. The oven is awesome to make bacon. It's fine. Yeah, it is pretty good, actually. I'm never bringing so up easy. any more pork products again. <laughs> Well, I, Let's go. I will try not to bring up eggs in front of you. <laughs> Let's all just get along. Let's see if we can get Handsome Keith on the line. And uh, Oh, boy. Yeah, hey, yeah. Handsome Keith. Who I knows? hope he has good news for me. Mm-hmm. Let's ask him. Let's see. Oh, like, the, he's been, uh, it, feels shakers, like he, right? it feels like he's been avoiding right? your questions. I hope so. Can but, he Can he hear he, us all, though? He yeah. can't. Oh, yeah. He would rule. Able to... You would rule, Jeff. Well, I can't hear it ringing. It's ringing. Really low. Are we gonna ambush him? It's like surprise. Yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah. He's like, nope. <laughs> Jeff is ready with the Marauder. Oh, Your call has been forwarded to uh, a uh, damn it. <laughs> he avoided. Oh, that. what a oh. bastard! Nice. He Keith, fucking Jeff. Knew. Pick up. <laughs> Next time, Keith, pick up. Jeff has oh. some questions he would really like to ask. Oh, I thought man. today was the day, too. I know. I was feeling pretty hot on it. Like, I was thinking this is this was going to be it. Maybe that's just what we do at the end of every episode. Try to get him on the line. And then one day. <laughs> He's going to call me 10 minutes after this is over. He will. Well, a- anyways, I just want to say once again, thank you guys for drinking and hanging out and having a happy hour. Drink um, responsibly. All you guys out there. Um, We'll see you in a week or so. I don't know when all these things are going to air, but we're going to do our best. Let's end it on a high note. This is Mariachi All Bronx. The song is, Jeff? Listen to these horns. What's it called? You got it. What's it called? It's right in front of you. No, you you pronounce it. You have to read it. I can't read read it. it. What is it? I don't know. I don't know how to to say it. You got it. Lateria. Lateria? Loteria? I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, that's Loteria? Cool. I don't know. Here we go. This is me out your box. Thank you see guys. you guys. Yeah, Bye. we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Later.
light my cigarette, blindfold my eyes. Cause I would rather die than compromise. Born in the ghetto's arms, abandon all hope. Prepare the fire and squad, cause death is just a joke. Enjoy the brave new world, take it nice and slow. Don't ask me how it works, cause you don't wanna know. It don't really make them like me anymore. I'm practically one of a kind, oh. My generation is almost extinct. Everyone's losing their mind. On that sounded something, you know, kind of wrapping it up from where we started. I got you right here. <laughs> well, that sounded like something. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that good enough? Yep. 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 Yeah. Just, just close it. <laughs> That sounded like something. 